Is your home secretly turning away buyers? I'm going to share with you the top 10 reasons why that could be happening. So if you're wondering why your house isn't selling, these 10 tips could be all the difference. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. I am your local real estate expert here in Morristown. So is your home giving off subliminal messages to the buyers that's turning them away? Here are the top 10 reasons that could be happening. Number one is smells. When I walk into a house to either talk to them about listing it or to show the house, if I can smell smoke or pets, then I usually am going to have a conversation with that seller if I'm on the list side. But if I'm with the buyer, I don't have to say anything because those buyers already smell that. If your home has a distinct odor to it, that is probably turning buyers away. Number two is, do you have a gallery wall? When I walk into your house, is your hallway just filled with family photos? Because guess what? That makes buyers a little leery because it's hard for them to picture themselves living in your home when all they see is your family surrounded there. They also think about, okay, when they take all these photos down, how many holes are going to be in the wall? How much patching and painting am I going to have to do to fill all that in? So think about that when you're listing or trying to sell your home. Number three, when I walk into your house, am I greeted by a ton of coats hanging up on a hook stand there? Or do you have your shoes all at the front door? Because what that tells me and what that tells the buyer is that you don't have a coat closet. So you've just got the stuff out there for everybody to see. And so you're immediately, as soon as the buyer enters the home, the buyer's thinking they don't have closet space. I walk into their house, all I've got is coats in the hallway here and a bunch of shoes at the door. They don't have anywhere to put that. So if you're going to list your house for sale, and even if you don't have the closet space, you need to find somewhere to put those things because you don't want that to be the first thing a buyer sees when they come into your house. Number four, using the verbiage selling as is. I've sold several estates here lately, and they all want to sell it as is because when you're selling for an estate, you really don't want to invest a bunch of money to make repairs. However, when you start putting that verbiage in the marketing, buyers think, what do they know? What's wrong with this house that they're not willing to repair it? And while as an agent, we kind of get the gist of what's going on, I would highly encourage you not to use the term selling as is in the marketing of your home because again, it does give off a bad impression to buyers. Number five, when a buyer walks through your home, they are looking in your cabinets, okay? I know that kind of freaks some people out, but they'll go in the bathroom and they're going to look underneath the sink because they want to see if there's ever been a leak there. And if they open that and you have towels stored underneath the sink in the bathroom, again, you're putting off the vibe you don't have storage in your home. Find somewhere to keep your towels, your linens, whatever, but don't store them underneath the sink. Number six is if you have excessive security cameras, if you have bars on your windows, if you have added locks to your doors, then guess what? People think it's not a safe neighborhood. They think you've had issues in the past with somebody breaking in or whatever the case may be. Make sure that you're not giving off the wrong image by having security cameras throughout the house, bars on your windows, things like that. Number seven is going to be the old school drying rack for your dishes on the countertop. This is especially true if you have a dishwasher in the kitchen. Now, I get it. My mom is one of those that it's just her and my dad. She much prefers to just wash their dishes by hand rather than use the dishwasher. But if you've got your home listed for sale and a buyer comes through and they see a dishwasher under the counter, but yet you're using the old timey dishwashing dryer rack, their assumption is your dishwasher doesn't work. That's just what they're thinking. If you're just one of those people that prefer to wash your dishes by hand rather than use a dishwasher, hide it somewhere when you've got your home on the market and you know you're going to have buyers coming through. Number eight is when you have rugs over carpeted areas. I mean, you've got carpet down, so why do you necessarily need a rug over that carpet? Buyers are going to think you're trying to hide something. 
If you have rugs down in an area that's already carpeted, roll those up before you put your house on the market. Number nine is kind of related to number one. If you have a bunch of different candles burning in your house and you've got Glade plug-ins in every room and they're all giving off a different scent, buyers think you're trying to hide something, usually a smell. Pets or smoking or whatever the case may be. A lot of people, and I'm one of them, were very sensitive to some strong smells. Like I can't go into Bath and Body Works at the mall because it just overwhelms my senses. So you're really turning those types of buyers off when they walk in your house and they're just bombarded with all these artificial smells. It's fine to have one or two kind of neutral scented plug-ins, but don't put one in every room and don't have a bunch of different candles burning. The last tip I'm gonna give you is a dark home. Nobody wants to live in a dungeon. If you're that person who always keeps your curtains drawn, never opens the blinds, and so even when we turn the lights on, your house just seems very dark, this message is for you. So you need to open up your curtains, you need to open those blinds, make sure your windows are clean, and let that natural light help you get your home sold. This is gonna be especially true if you have dark colors in your home. I've went into houses where, for whatever reason, They've had like almost a chocolate brown paint color in a couple of the rooms, and that's going to make the room appear really dark anyway. So you need as much natural light in your house as you can get to help you get your home sold. Do you need more tips on helping you to get your home sold? I'm going to encourage you to send me a DM, and let's have a conversation about what it's going to take to get your home sold. Now, if you're already listed with another agent, I'm not trying to poach anybody's listings. Let me just say that loud and clear. But if you're thinking about selling your home, or maybe you've had it on the market with a different agent, that listing has expired, and now you're a little discouraged, please reach out to me. Let me come over. Let me walk through your home, and let's come up with a tailored plan to help you get your home sold in 2024.